What is going on everybody? It's Stas here. Welcome back to another video. So in this video, we're going to be doing an overall market update, looking at the Dow Jones, the S&P 500 and the NASDAQ. We're going to be talking about one trade that I made today on the 30th of January in 2019. And we're going to briefly take a look into some of the biggest companies that reported earnings today, including Facebook, Microsoft, Tesla, Alibaba and AT&T. So before we do get into this video guys feel free to smash that like button if you guys do enjoy the daily content if you guys do find value in the content it really does help the channel grow and I do appreciate you guys if you smash that like button so without further ado let's hop right into the topic of today's video so we just saw Facebook and Microsoft report their earnings about 10-15 minutes before I'm recording this video and I just want to talk about this right off the bat guys Facebook stock went absolutely parabolic off the walls bananas freaking insane there's no word that I can put to what Facebook stock just did guys we can see it closed at $150 and literally 10 minutes later guys I was watching the chart 10 minutes later it went up $12 per share so in a couple of minutes we're going to take a look at Facebook's numbers and Microsoft's numbers whose stock actually went down quite a bit at the close or after the close of the market we closed at around 106.80 ended up falling all the way down to 103 dollars in terms of microsoft stock so before we do get into that guys let's take a look at what the overall market did today and i'm sure you all know we had a pretty strong green day today. Yesterday, we saw Apple report their earnings. They were up around $8, $9 after market hours. And a lot of us were discussing, and I personally thought this myself, and I also talked about it in yesterday's video, that if that were to drag over to today, right, if Apple were to drag over to today, and we saw some other stocks you know, move positively due to this, which we did see and some other strong earnings reports, you know, the entire market could benefit today as well. And that's exactly what we ended up seeing. The SPX, the S&P 500 was up around $41 today, up around 1.5% at the close. And we can see here on the 184 hour chart, guys, we broke that resistance of the 180 SMA that has been a resistance over the past couple of months. We finally broke out of it today with the strong trading day that we had. So pretty much over the past couple of days, guys, this ended up being just a consolidation phase in the SPX between 2600 to 2600. 75 and what really solidified the break of the pattern guys um was the break out of that 2675 resistance that we saw today right around you know two o'clock once Powell started speaking that's when the market really ended up popping out of the resistance at around 2675 and really this is just a continuation of the uptrend pattern as we can see here on this 20 day one hour chart we briefly broke below the 50 SMA a couple of days ago but we recently yesterday and today obviously we held above it again we bounced above it and we pushed to that higher high so in terms of the uptrend reversal pattern guys you know the SPX is looking very good for further push to the upside right now strictly on a technical basis now if we take a look at the Dow Jones this one is far above the 180 SMA resistance guys where we got rejected a couple of months back on three separate occasions we had 400 $30 point day today up around 1.7% in terms of the Dow Jones and just like the SPX guys this is continuing the uptrend pattern. We had a couple of days of consolidation between this horizontal pattern that we've been talking about, and we broke above 24,700, 24,800-ish, which really solidified the continuation of the uptrending pattern today in the Dow Jones. So everything for the uptrend pattern is looking intact right now, guys. It's looking good for the continuation pattern of this uptrend pattern and of course guys you know if apple continues to push up if we see you know if microsoft ends up recovering goes up in price tomorrow let's say for example if facebook continues to push up you know we could potentially see a couple more green days in a row after this but again guys eventually we're gonna have to see a little pullback am i saying we're gonna pull back to a complete downtrend quite yet 
I don't personally think so within this next week or two, but if we don't get a trade war deal by March 1st, we very well could start pushing back down in price. But with this earnings optimism that we've been having, right, a lot of the big companies reported pretty decent earnings, right? You know, this has been pushing up the markets, and I do think this could potentially continue over the next couple of days, but eventually we're going to see a slight pullback in the next couple of days, in my opinion, either to, you know, pull back and continue the uptrending pattern, or, you know, eventually we could even pull back down to continue or start rather a reversal pattern to the downside. But again, like I said, guys, it's going to take a couple of days before we do see any move, big move to the downside, you know, in my personal opinion. And, uh, you know, at any time in this video, if you guys have any questions, any comments, you know, anything related to, you know, trading stocks, investing, whatever, drop a comment down below and we'll chat in the comment section further. But let's take a look at the NASDAQ today, guys. It had the strongest day by far in terms of the major indices, right? With this one was up and it's still climbing up 190 points at the close, guys, or roughly at the close, up around 2.9%, guys. So very crazy day today, and we're actually trending and trading in this channel very nicely still in terms of NQ. So in terms of NQ, guys, we have yet to break uh, the full resistance here at around 68.30 in my personal opinion, guys. We can see technically we're still trading in this horizontal pattern. So if we see stocks continue to rise heading into tomorrow obviously that could definitely push this back into maybe even the 7,000 well let's not get ahead of ourselves probably the $6,900 level and then eventually potentially in the $7,000 range which obviously would indicate a continuation of the uptrend pattern for the NASDAQ. So that's what I'm looking at in terms of the overall markets, guys. Looking good in terms of a reversal to the upside. We've broken major resistances right now. Stocks are pushing up. Stocks are green, guys. They're very, very, very green. We haven't seen them this green in a while. Let's take a look at some examples, right, very quickly. We saw Apple up 7% today. You know, we saw Facebook's doing absolutely ridiculous right now. You know, Amazon had a very strong day today. Even Netflix did very well today as well. Google had a decent day up around three, four, uh, 2 3% on the day. What other ones off the top of my head? We saw Alibaba did absolutely amazing today. So, you know, basically my long-term portfolio today, guys, was very, very strong. You all know out there I own Alibaba, I own Apple, I own Facebook, right? Even Micron did very well today, which I own as well, up 2.2%. And another banking stock that I own that I actually traded today, which is the stock I traded, did very well today as well. It was up 8% at the high, and I was able to capture a little bit of that on a day trade, which we're going to talk about in a couple of minutes. But, you know, overall, you guys, you know, a lot of my positions in my long-term portfolio and a lot of stocks in general today did absolutely crazy. Let's take a look at some other ones off the top of my head. Did we? Did I show you Micron? You know, Micron was up 2%. Oh, AMD, guys, that's another one that went absolutely haywire today. 20% move in terms of AMD today. Today, $23 and we saw yesterday I believe in the video I was talking about how AMD is projecting strong sales growth for 2019 this could be the catalyst as to why we saw a huge move today 20% move absolutely crazy guys and you know overall there's just a lot of green across the board so let's talk about stocks earnings reports very quickly I have my handy dandy iPhone right here we're going to take a look. I'm going to take a look at my notes very quickly because I took notes on the basic numbers for each company and let's bang this out very quickly. So Facebook guys, like we just saw, parabolic, right? Insane move right here, right? Up to 162 and climbing. So we can see they reported EPS of $2.38 versus $2.18 expected. And they also beat on revenue, $16.9 billion in revenue versus $16.4 billion expected. Facebook and Messenger, they both grew their monthly active users by 9% compared to last year to 
$1.2 billion. So that's pretty, pretty solid numbers in terms of Facebook stock, guys. So let's take a look at Microsoft, the next big company. I think Microsoft, in terms of market capitalization, is the largest company right now in terms of the entire world. Don't quote me on that, but I'm pretty sure Microsoft is the largest company. They reported EPS of $1.01 or 10 cents rather, $1.1 versus $1.09 expected. They missed on revenue at $32.47 billion versus $32.51 billion expected, guys. And we can see it's slowly starting to make a comeback right now back into the $104 range after we hit a low at around $102.7. So the revenue miss is most likely why Microsoft is falling down. We saw a pretty poor report today from Tesla and all these reports guys I haven't really dove into them too in depth because I am recording this video at about 4 40 p.m eastern standard time after I do record this I'm gonna dive into more of these in depth but I did want to get this video recorded and out to you guys on time today which is why I am recording it a bit early at around 4 30 but anyway Tesla stock, guys, this one we saw a spike up to 318, pushed back down all the way to 292, and now we're trading at around 307, right around where we ended up closing the day. So what did they report in terms of earnings? Well, their EPS was 1.93 versus 2.2 expected, guys. So huge miss in terms of EPS. We've known that, you know, Elon Musk has been giving out some signals that profitability isn't looking too good good for this quarter we've had some production problems obviously the seven percent layoff in the workers we weren't really expecting a solid report anyway from tesla which is why honestly it's not reacting too poorly right now in terms of the stock price after market hours because honestly a lot of this stuff could have already been priced in in terms of tesla stock and their revenue actually beat guys they beat on 7.23 billion dollars versus 7.08 billion dollars expected by analysts so not too bad of a report but in terms of profitability guys eps pretty bad across the board um you know right now in terms of tesla's um earnings report so alibaba which is another one of my largest positions is probably like my fourth biggest position in my stock market portfolio they also reported earnings today as well this was pre-market hours and we can see they closed the day yesterday at 155 and by the time we opened the market today, we were already up about $6 per share in terms of Alibaba. So let's take a look at what they did in terms of their earnings, basic numbers very quickly. So EPS, $1.77 uh, you know, of EPS versus $1.67 expected. So we beat that by $0.10 cents per share. Revenue, they, they, uh, they missed briefly on revenue, guys. Uh, uh, they reported $17 billion in revenue versus $17.7 billion. So they beat, uh, I, mean, I mean, they missed by a small fraction there. Not too crazy of a miss. It's, it's a decent miss, but it's not too crazy of a miss like we saw in terms of uh, Tesla's EPS, which is a pretty, pretty bad miss. But one thing to note about Alibaba, guys, which is expected, honestly, their revenue growth uh, is 41% growth year over year which is amazing for a lot of companies right but before guys their previous quarter i believe it was they grew it by about like 50 60 percent and then 70 percent from the for the quarter before that so in terms of uh their growth rate compared to previous quarters it's obviously slowed down because the china chinese economy hasn't been so great we've obviously seen Tons of stocks crash. Consumers aren't buying products in China as much as they were a couple of years back. It makes sense that Alibaba's revenue took a hit, right? Not a surprise whatsoever, but the stock positively reacted to the earnings report today. Obviously, we're up 7%. So, uh, one more that 
a lot of people were also talking about in the chat. We'll talk about that one very quickly. Was AT&T. This is another uh, stock that I personally own in my portfolio. They were red today, guys. They were down 4%, down about $1.33 per share. They reported EPS of 0.86, 86 cents versus 86 cents expected. So they were pretty much in line with analysts in terms of the earnings per share, but their revenue came short, guys. They they were down, or rather, they reported $47.99 billion in terms of revenue versus a 48 point five billion dollar expected by analysts. So, guys, you know, overall, you know, earnings season is very, very exciting, guys. This is like my favorite time period, especially a week where a lot of my long-term portfolios are reporting. I know a lot of your, uh, or rather the stocks in my portfolios are reporting. I know a lot of yours, uh, your stocks are reporting as well. It's just a very exciting week, and especially when your stocks go up, guys. Literally, like, you know, we saw Alibaba up 7%. Apple was up 8%. Facebook was up, you know, whatever, like it's probably up like 12% at this point with the aftermarket spike. So, you know, the past couple of months, that I've been buying down, you know, buying more stocks and, you know, in Facebook, Apple on the downtrend, it's serving me, um, you know, it's serving me now because the stocks are pushing back up, right? And I'm obviously making money on my long-term positions and everything is looking solid, guys. But now, you know, now comes the question of when to add more shares. I'm personally going to be waiting for dips in all of these stocks before adding more shares. The buying opportunities, at least in Facebook, Apple, and Alibaba, were mostly about a week, two, three, four, five weeks ago, right? The time right now, in my opinion, to add more shares in those positions has passed because we've seen, like I said, they're all up a pretty sizable amount right now. And typically, I don't buy long-term position shares when the stocks are pushing up. I like to wait to see a pullback. That's what I personally do. So very quickly, guys, let's talk about what I traded today on the 30th of January in 2019. So this is the company that I traded today Axos Financial, ticker symbol AX. And this is one of my longer, longer term positions that I've actually owned for the past couple of years. And they're formerly known as BOFI, ticker symbol B-O-F-I. They just changed their name to Axos Financial uh, a couple months back. And I actually started buying into this stock, I believe it was back in like 2015, 2016 at around $16 per share. Ended up selling off a lot of those shares at the high at about $38, $40 that we saw a couple of months back. And I've been slowly buying back in to Axos Financial after I took about like 100% profit, you know, over the past two, three years that I've owned this stock. But other than that, guys, you know, it is in my long-term portfolio. I decided to trade it today as well as a day trade because just like all those other companies that we talked about, Axos Financial, they reported their earnings today on the 30th and the stock positively reacted to a very solid earnings report. And mind you, this is an online bank growing company, right? They reported, I forget the exact number, but their revenue was up like 20% year over year, 20, I think it might've been like 20, 25% strong growth, right? A lot of the other numbers were solid as well. And I noticed that we were slowly starting to trend up pretty heavily volume started to kick in a little bit right around here and this is when I ended up adding a position in my swing trading slash day trading portfolio in terms of Axos guys and it was very simple right I started to buy in at around $28.95 I believe ended up adding more at around $29.40 as we continued continued to push up and we can see guys from there you know my average cost was at around $29.15 and at that point guys you know I always set a, a limit order at around a 2% profit and I always keep an eye on my day trades from there to see whether I or not I have to adjust my limit you know add a trailing stop loss add a stop loss change my stop loss do whatever right this is what I'm typically doing you know when trading so you know 
Guys, you know, I was in the green for a little bit here. Ended up adding a trailing stop loss with a limit order at around 2%. And ended up trading all my shares. What was it? I got in right around here for the first time. Here for the second time. Average cost at around like here roughly. So 2%, guys, roughly is what I ended up taking on this trade. Literally ended up selling right before $30. I believe it was like $29.95. So in terms of my trading day today, guys, very simple. Axos Financial, which is a company that I personally know and I've studied over the past couple of years, and I've been studying their quarterly earnings reports for a while now, guys, because I've been a shareholder and I like to see, you know, I kind of have a sample of how they usually react to their earnings. Not to say that they always react the same way, but typically, guys, Axos Financial, I'm not going to say this is the way that it is for all the stocks, but when they beat on revenue, when they have a good earnings report, a solid earnings report typically the stock reacts the next day or the same trading day that they reported right which was the same which was pretty much the situation that happened today and that's exactly what ended up happening was able to capitalize on two percent of this particular trade but out there guys today there was a bunch of bunch of green so for all you that did make money good stuff Good stuff. Today was a very, very solid day. A lot, a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot of money was made across the entire stock market. Absolutely crazy, guys. Let me know what you guys ended up doing today. I would love to know, but I'm pretty much going to end off the video right here today. So if you enjoyed the video, feel free to smash that like button, leave a comment and subscribe. Follow me on Instagram as well as on Twitter. And if you guys want to join our Discord group chat, we have about 500 people in there. The link's down below in the description box. I'll catch you in the next video. Peace out.